Introduction The common understanding of delusion is shaped by situations shown in movies. These movies often portrait wide-eyed people, uttering nonsense, being dangerous and strapped down. However, these images are not sufficient to educate the public about delusions. This becomes apparent in the truther movement, or conspiracy movement. The truther movement intersects thematically with people suffering from schizophrenic delusions. The thematic intersection provides an entry vector for delusional conspiracy theorists. In this video, I will put forward my thoughts about this thematic intersection, focusing on subsections of schizophrenia. Schizophrenia Schizophrenia is defined by a set of core symptoms. The following list is a subset. 1. Hallucinations Hallucinations include auditory perceptions, hearing the voices or visual perceptions, seeing things that do not exist. 2. Delusions. Delusions include unreal beliefs. For example, the person may assume that others can read his thoughts, or that she is a certain person for example, Cleopatra. 3. Rational schizophrenia. Rational schizophrenia includes flawed reasoning processes. For example, the person may jump to conclusions. By eliminating necessary logical steps between observation and conclusion, this phenomenon may manifest with respect to specific topics only. People suffering from rational schizophrenia may be able to lead, for the most part, a normal life. Mixing Facts and Fiction A person suffering from schizophrenia mixes facts and fiction. This makes the claims of such person so fascinating for others. Those observers, listeners and viewers start arguing about those facts and fantasies, not being aware of the disorder. This positive, public attention reassures the suffering person in his or her delusion. The delusional or irrational system is probably meant to protect the person from something traumatic, arguing, negative attention, is dangerous to the person, because the protecting, delusional system is at risk. In other words, the mixed facts and fiction are not meant to be separated, as they stabilize the suffering person. Thus, negative attention may cause the traumatized person to ridicule, belittle or block others. Personality Disorders Personality disorders let the suffering person deviate in behavior from social expectations. Typically, a person with a personality disorder stands out socially. Personality disorders are not detailed in this video, except the following aspect. People who stand out because of a personality disorder may attract people who do not like to become socially visible by uttering criticism. A person with a personality disorder may criticize and thus feel superior to homosexuals, people of a certain origin, sexual orientation in general, people who are not that bright, people who are not educated, and so on. If the criticism profile of a person with personality order matches the criticism profile of a viewer, the viewer will be less likely to perceive the person as being mentally ill. Truth or Community Shills, frauds and schizophrenia. Next to schizophrenic disorders, personality disorders are well established in the truther community. 1. Both groups, sane truthers as well as suffering people, manage information that may not be conventional. 2. Both groups speculate about hidden power structures. 3. Both groups speculate about information that is kept secret, or about information that only an elite has access to. Start investigating mental diseases and you will find many more parallels. You may realize that the amount of parallels between sane truthers and suffering people is frightening. The truther movement is, in the public eye, spearheaded by a handful of well-known characters. Additionally, the movement circles around lots of people with smaller audiences. It is my opinion that many of the characters mentioned above show symptoms of schizophrenia or personality disorder. Sound people react to those suffering characters, based on a behavior that they cannot understand, by calling them shills or frauds. Basically, 
sound people are trying to find a rational explanation for irrational behavior and thoughts. Ironically, rationalizing the irrational behavior of others leads everybody into the realms of fantasy. Truth or community, realms of fantasy and money. Consider the amount of time and resources spent on certain topics. Creating videos, radio shows and websites is expensive as well as time-consuming. Consider if these investments are justified by a positive effect, enjoyed by many people, enabling them to live a better life. Earning money with books or videos is a positive outcome, enjoyed by a single person, enabling that single person to live a better life. Some people certainly make a living out of their mental dispositions. Financed by viewers, listeners and readers who are sucked into their delusional realms of fantasy, looking for speculations, not for solutions.